Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get any animation you want just using the animation ID. So, we recently uploaded a video called the Movement System, and people were asking how can we get the animation. So, this is going to be in response to get any animation you want, but I'll, I'll be specifically doing the movement animations. So, just to make sure, I deleted all the animations that I already have, so I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. So this is the movement system. There's no animation. I'm holding shift. I'm currently running. Double jumping, nothing. Double jump D doesn't even have a, a regular animation. Um, crouching. Let's just get rid of that real quick. I'm currently crouching. My speed is being decreased. I'm running. And yep. So we don't have any animations. So now let's get into the real aspect of how this works. So you want to have the ID of what you want, of what the animation you want to take, right? So all the IDs are already inside the script, which is why I didn't make it an instance. So we have this ID for crouch, this ID for run, this ID for slide, this ID for dash. This can work for, if you have the ID, you can basically get the animation anytime you want. So what we're going to do here is you want to have the RBX asset ID semicolon slash slash. What you want to do is copy this, the ID that you want to have. And then what you're going to, so you want to go back to the uh, main game go to run a command so basically you want to go to your console let me see if i can pull this up a little bit for you guys i think i can't all right we're gonna keep it down here so what we're gonna do we're gonna do game we're gonna do get objects and then we're gonna put the id inside of here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one because it returns a table we're gonna do dot parent and then we're gonna parent it to the workspace and when we do that and if we go into the workspace we have this little r6 crouch animation but let's let me delete it so you guys can actually see it go into the workspace. So if I hit enter here, boom, it pops into the workspace. And after it pops into the workspace, once I go all the way down and I go to save to Roblox, I want to save this as a crouch, as a crouch animation. And I want to put it as me submit. And when it submits, you want to copy the new ID file and then close it out. And then you want to go back into the original ID and just replace the ID with the crouch. So if I was to press the play button now, and if I try to crouch, it would work. So if I try to crouch now, yep, we're crouching now. Yep. So now if you want to get the running animation, you do the same thing that we just did before. You can just do game. Well, you want to get the whole, you want to get the actual whole ID including little string brackets on the side of it and that's really important because it's string so we're gonna do game semicolon get objects put the string inside of there brackets one dot parent equals workspace so i'm gonna delete this so we don't so you see that we're not using that anymore we hit the enter button and then we get now we have it in our workspace right click save the roblox change the name to whatever you want to change the name to so we're going to change it to a uh, new running then we're going to submit the ID, copy the animation ID, close, go back to the local script, and then change the ID aspect only. And this, and then when you go back to play the game, so now let's try to run now. Boom. Now we see the running animations finally applied to our, to our humanoid. So that's basically how you guys can get any animation you want using the animation ID. So I hope you guys learned something from this video and this is for educational purposes too. So if you want to be able to get some of my animation that I use in my videos, you can go ahead and do that. You guys have a great day and peace out.